Hey guys, welcome back. Hee <laughs> hee. So this time I don't actually have enough physical time to go out and film another video in the streets because I'm starting uni in a couple of days. Two days? I should probably have this figured out. Anyway, um, I thought that instead I would tell you guys the story of how I got offered a dream job at a place which was voted Australia's best company to work at two years in a row and how I got this job through begging on the street. <laughs> So, last year I decided that I wanted to travel around the world for one year. I worked for six months as a waiter, flew out to New Zealand and Australia, and blew all of my money yes, within the space of about two months. I was in Sydney, I was broke, and I needed to get a job. After spending half a year dragging drunk people out of the bar at 5am in England, I was really determined not to work in hospitality ever again. So this time round, I was set on searching for a better, more cushy, more luxurious job. I searched and searched, but yielded no results. So I opened up Google and typed in best quamp. <coughs> so I opened up Google and typed in best companies in Australia to work for. And that's when up popped this article from the Business Insider which said that the best company in Australia to work for was Canva. This place was insane. It had a restaurant, an arcade, a gym, a bar, multiple in-house kitchens, a concert stage, massage chairs, oh. and even a farm. Yes, you read that right. It had a farm. And what's more, the head offices were located in downtown Sydney, a 10 minute walk from my hostel. Bingo. I was excited. I could already picture myself there, sitting back relaxing in a massage chair, having a beer, telling Damien from HR not to worry as the magical graphic design intern was here. Then reality struck as it dawned on me that as well as being the nicest and the best place to work in Australia, it was also the hardest place to get a job in Australia. And I didn't exactly have the best CV. I just left school, had no work experience, no formal design experience, and my resume consisted of, well, shit all really. There was no chance that I could even contemplate competing against the thousands of highly qualified applicants. But what I did have was energy and chutzpah, and I wasn't gonna give up that easy. I wanted that job. So I saved up the last few dollars to my name and printed out a sign that said, can I please have an interview for the content writer job? So once that was printed out, I walked over to the Canva head office, walked up to the receptionist and asked if I could speak to the recruitment manager or hold the sign in the lobby. She laughed <laughs> and told me that Canva receives over 87,000 applications yearly. <laughs> The only way you can apply is online. There's no chance anybody here is ever gonna give you an in-person interview. She then asked me to leave. I turned around and left deflated. It didn't really go as planned. Um, my mission was failed. I started walking back down the street, back to that grimy hostel. But then I thought, fuck that. I'm no quitter. I'm not giving up this easily. So, I brushed up my hair, held my sign high, and stood outside the office on the pavement. Can't call security on me now, Janet. Hours went by, and I was faced with hundreds of disconcerting faces, confused faces, laughing faces, judgmental faces. The situation was looking bleak, hope was dwindling, and my morale was lowering. But out of nowhere, I heard a, hi dude, I like your sign. What are you doing here? I explained that I wanted to work for Canva, but that I knew I stood no chance of getting through the online application process. So I explained to the man that I thought I would come down here and hold a big sign asking if I could get an interview in the hope that someone would give me one. To my surprise, he said, sweet as dude, give me a minute, I'm gonna call my boss. He got off the phone and told me that the head of recruiting from Canva was coming down to see me and wanted to have a chat with me. I just spoke to one of the guys, he said that the recruiter called Scott is free in 15 minutes and he's uh, coming down to come and see me, so I have actually a job. Anyway, long story short, I got the interview 
but it turns out that my work visa wouldn't let me work for more than six months and they wanted a full-time intern. So I sadly couldn't actually work for them. Anyway, I still came out with a bunch of new LinkedIn contacts and whilst it never worked due to visa reasons, I felt happy in knowing that I gave it my best shot. So, if there's one thing from this story that I learned, as cringy as it sounds, it's to never give up and that if you really want something, there's always a way of getting it. You just might have to think a little out the box. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna take a bit of time off, you know, to settle into uni and uh, make new friends and all that shit. So um, yeah, cheers, I'll see you next time. Adios.